Hello guys, this is Lina Slimoyenki 2 Hotel. I need an RF choke balloon, if I may call it so, to work and ex make experiments with my newly built and fed half wave 40, 30, 20 meters linked antenna. It's not like I don't have any RF chokes around in my shack. I do, but I needed something smaller, less bulky and still pretty efficient. So let's get back to the workbench and see what we have around. I've got one from MFJ. It's very good RF choke, but it's too big and too bulky for my QRP experiments in the field. So I decided to make one myself. This is probably the quickest project I can do. The Morse code in the background you may hear comes from my brand new QCX Mini, but that's a story for another video. Stay tuned. Today I speak, I talk about the RF choke for my QRP projects in the field, including QCX Mini, of course. So, for this RF choke, I only need a few things. I need the uh, toroid. The toroid, I bought it from Soda Beams. There are some 13 turns of uh, small, thin RG174 cable. Uh, this, uh, this balloon should work on all the bands from 80 to 10 meters and should make it work. The rest what I need is, is just a few other parts uh, from the plumbing department of my, of my DIY, DIY store. So there are two plastic caps with the, uh, with the outer diameter of uh, 40 millimeters uh, and uh, there is a case uh, for, the, um, uh, for the toroid. Maybe it's a little bit too big, it's 8 centimeter height but well, that was uh, what was possible to find at hand. All I need to do is uh, two BNCs and all I need to do is uh, to install these two BNCs into the plastic caps and then solder the, the um, ends of the cable to these BNC connectors inside and then assemble the whole assemble the whole construction. What is good uh, with this uh, pipe that you can see inside the rubber band. This rubber band uh, helps to make the joint hermetic almost uh, when the plastic cap enters uh, the, um, the pipe. So you have to press and then uh, you have almost hermetic uh, joint between the cap and the body uh, so and uh, no sealing, no glue, hot glue or any other glue is needed for the intermediate installation in the open air. It could stand the rain. All right, so the second cap is finished. You can see the small hole in the bottom of the second cap and this little hole is uh, designed for moisture to evaporate and to prevent some condensation of moisture within the balloon. It goes pretty tough and this is good it means the rubber band inside inside here inside the the case helps uh, to get more or less insulated from moisture and so that's it voila all right so the last thing to do is the continuity test to check if there is some bad contacts or there is no contact where it should be if there is a sound, it means there is a contact. No sound, no contact. Okay, no contact. That's good. No contact between center pin and the cable shield or the ground of the balloon. Center to center, there is a continuity. That's okay. Very good. Now, shield to shield, ground to ground. Okay, there is a continuity. Very well. So, now that this line insulator is made and properly labeled, let's jump into one of my future videos and see how was it working in the future. All right, so here is my homemade clamp-on RF meter, RF probe. 
very uh, very useful device absolutely fantastic it's just few parts inside it's not uh, precise calibrated like milliamps or or microamps it's just orientational measuring but it's that's what that's what we want so let's go i'm on the 40 meters now uh, i'm i'm switched uh, my radio into the fm mode on the free frequency and uh, let's see i clamp on I clamp on my meter onto the cable not far away from the radio, basically at the radio. And let's take a look. What do we see? So, all right, we see that this full scale to the right. It means it's a lot. It's a lot of RF feedback on the onto the cable and on 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 the on the radio. I'm transmitting five watts, five watts only now. So, but this means even if the radio doesn't uh, behave anything strange because of this RF, but uh, it's no good, it's no good. So, then we have to run for the help to this guy, RF choke, one-to-one -one RF choke. All right, so now we have the RF probe connected actually at the radio and the balloon is just, uh, j j just for the run. So, uh, theoretically we switch everything what is after after the balloon so let's see twice as less as without the balloon but still there is some still there is some okay but i think uh, we can live with this and of course i'm gonna i'm gonna use uh, the balloon uh, for the for, for my further experimenting back from the future just to say that's it for today guys but if you don't want to miss this coming video featuring this wonderful AntFET linked three band antenna, this probably the smallest antenna tuner I ever made to tune AntFET half waves. Yes, they could be tunable to feature this RF balloon or RF choke, whatever you call it. And last but not least, this wonderful RF probe device I made myself to, ma to measure the common mode currents on the cable. So please consider subscribing and you won't miss the date when this video comes out. It's for today, 73. Thanks for watching. Good luck. This is Linus Limoyanki 2 Hotel.